Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? Get your ass off the plane. I will get back to my truck right now if you let me out of these handcuffs. If you don't, it's gotta be a mistake, sir. I promise. 75,000 people watching. You guys are fucked up. You gonna wait 40 minutes? I'm gonna be on a pilot and bring me home. Some celebrities are so used to getting their way that they might think they're immune to the law. Just the rest of the most famous man in the But what happens when these entitled celebrities get the ultimate reality check? This, this is why people do not like police officers. In this video, we'll cover three examples of this. Starting with Yusuf Salah Arakat, popularly known to his 10 million subscribers on YouTube as Fuzi2. On August 8, 2023, Fuzi2 was live streaming to over 70,000 people when he decided to call 911 claiming he was being held at gunpoint in his hotel room. There's a gun to my head right now. There's a gun to my head. Help, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, he left. Ma'am, he left. There's a gun to my head. Help, help, get them. Help, bye. Ma'am, Intercontinental was my room number. Help. And when the officers arrived at the hotel room, they found the hysterical Fusi 2 who claimed that someone had called his room and was threatening his mom. Hi, it's me again. Remember me? He posted a video. He was on live yesterday calling my mom. I have his face, everything recorded. He goes, remember me? He threatened my life tonight. He said exactly where I am out loud, room, everything. I literally told him, if I see you, I'm sticking a knife nine inches in your neck and I'm slatting it down your penis. He gave me his address. And how does he know where you're staying at? I don't, he's a stalker. Okay, and who is this guy? I don't know. So how do you want us to look for him if you don't know where he is? I have his address. What is his address? I said grab my security 20 minutes ago. As Fusi is telling his side of the story, he becomes very agitated, raising his voice at the officers. But the officers would soon find out from his security guard that Fusi had been off his meds and hadn't slept in several days. He's supposed, he's, bro, he's supposed to be taking medication. He's off his meds. Oh, like, oh, he's oh, he's off his meds. My point of contact just told me they whoever yeah, deals with him, they told me he's off his meds. Are we getting in contact with that point of contact? Yes. yes. What is the relationship with the, your point of contact? Who's that, who's that person? I guess that's either his business partner or someone that uh, deals with him on a daily basis. I guess that's who he works How would they know he's off his meds? Like he, 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 he actually, he, he said it himself. And he said it himself on the live stream as well. The security guard tells officers that he has been off his meds for two days, and it's now becoming more clear that Fusi may be going through some kind of mental health breakdown. I'm out. I'm out. He just went out. Dog. I'm live streaming. I'm the most famous guy on the internet right now. Okay, cool. A guy calls my, he calls my mom yesterday okay. and says, I'm going to slit your throat. The officers talk amongst themselves and agree that the next plan of action was to get him to a mental hospital for help immediately. You guys are dumb as fuck, man. You guys are literally dumb as fuck. Oh, hey, record this. Security, come in here now. Yo, for my protection, come in here. He can't come in. Y'all are fucked. I'm suing all y'all. My life is in danger and you arrest a Palestinian Muslim who's viral? Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? Y'all oh, f***ed up, man. 75,000 people watching. You guys okay. so who is this person that you say I'm not talking to you anymore. I need a lawyer. You're f***ed up. You're not arrested. You're gonna get paid right now. Yeah, but you guys are f***ed up. You guys just f***ed up in front of 70. I swear to God, in my mother's life. I'm a good person. I'm a civilian. We're not I'm sober. Not. I'm changing the world. I have more eyes on me than the president has on this country. The kids are listening to me. Andrew Tate invited me to Romania. I'm a, I'm a chosen messenger. Y'all just arrested me. You don't know what you just did. My life was in danger. You're going to get big right, What? You're going to get big right, dude. You're going to mental facility. Why? You're not completely there. When he's being escorted out, the officers listen as Fusi goes on an egotistical rant, saying that he's a good person, that he's changing the world, that he has more eyes on him than the president which would further convince the cops that they needed to find and help as soon as possible. Mentally, you're going through some episodes. What about the guy who called me? Before or after you? Right. You, see, you hear the guy on the phone? That the hell because I don't live right now? You're, you're getting fired. Yeah, sure. You're getting fired. That's what they've been for years. I swear to God, you're getting fired. Allah, you're getting fired. Okay. I don't believe it, but you can believe it. You don't know what you did tonight. You're the most influential man in America. 7.8 million, I found a 7.7 million dollar cake brand deal today. Just from my live stream. Right. Just arrested the most famous and man in America. Yes, my life's in danger. He said he's gonna slit my mom's throat. You arrested the wrong guy. Wallahi, you're fired. Wallahi, you're fired. 
Wallah, you're fired. Hey, can you take a picture and post this on the internet? Nah, no, y'all are NPCs. Never mind. Hey, you. He doesn't even see his wife right. Yeah. Oh, I did. I don't know why y'all had to arrest me, dog. No, I'm already arresting you. Oh, we're gonna put you're gonna go put medicine needles in me I'm and not, try to I'm sedate me. Fousey is then put inside the cop car as he continues to talk about how much money he's worth and his connection to Andrew Tate. He's then escorted to a mental health facility. You are gonna touch me, look at that. Ah, uh, uh, don't let your dick get hard. You arrested the wrong dude, dog. You made $77 million. Right it don't matter, you put arrested on me. You arrested me, you didn't believe me, you walked out of the room. I have it on video, 70,000 people yeah, saw it. They're already reporting you, dog. Good. To your fucking officer, hey, fire this Fousey Tube was detained, but never arrested or charged with a crime. Thankfully, the cops were there to help him work through a dangerous mental situation. But what happens when the cops involved decide to give the celebrity special treatment? Yeah, you gonna wait 40 minutes, and I'm gonna be on a private yeah. plane home. Get your ass off the plane for a second. He's on that back you follow football? Oh my god! Let's go down. Let's go back him. Let's go back him. Can I get a signature? I'll give him an another opportunity. Mr. Beckham. On November 27th, 2022 officers were dispatched to the Miami International Airport to handle a medical emergency. Before departing, the flight attendants were unable to wake one of the passengers on board who was going in and out of consciousness. That passenger was identified as Baltimore Ravens wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Upon receiving the call, the police rushed to his aid. I don't know. He said he's like that. He's been like that. Yeah. Waking up. No, 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 no. He opens up his eyes. Sir, are you able to get up? Can you get up, please? please? You okay? Yeah. What's wrong? The airline's called for you, sir. I don't know what it is. You good? How you doing, bud? Not that you've been unresponsive, but trying to get to a man's with brush. He's probably on a deep sleep. You know where you're at, sir? Anything? He's probably tired. Okay. Okay. He looks good to me. What? Okay. 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 Where's his pants? Oh, sure. Sorry? Where's the baby's pants? What do you mean? Oh, He's the only got his underwear. Yeah. Yeah, they're on. Are they on now? Yeah. 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 They weren't on before? No. Okay. Go back. Go back, Frank. Hi, bud. Go back. Go back. We're good. Yes. Yeah. He cops ask Adele a few questions, but ultimately decide that medically he seems fine. But then, one of the flight attendants speaks up to the officers trying to get them to understand the bigger issue at hand. They can't seem to get him to buckle his seatbelt. You don't want him to actually shake him to put his seatbelt on and he might fly? If I mean, you don't want him to fly, that's a decision that you guys are going to have to make. That's, you know, you tell the captain and then we'll, we'll get him out, but that's something that you guys got to make. Multiple times, multiple people. Hey, sir, sir, put your seatbelt on. All we're getting is this. I, I work, this is a five hour flight. Yeah, this is five hours. Then that's, yeah, 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 that's up to you guys. Yeah, oh, that's up to you guys. But medically, if he doesn't want us to check him out, I can't make it again. And I don't really say anything wrong. He might be tired or have taken a long trip and doesn't want to follow orders. That's a whole other round. He told him he just came from a club. Yeah. Okay, I get that. He's and tired. Even though the flight attendant is explaining to the officers that Odell is being uncooperative, they don't help. Instead, they continue to offer excuses for Odell and even discuss what NFL teams he's played for in the past. He played for the Giants. He played uh, for the Rams. Does he play now? I don't think he's in the league right now. I don't think they've signed him. I didn't hear you. Just, no, he doesn't want to come out. He does not want to come out. So now he's coming said. to the next. Group. Okay. Right. Advise the sergeant to come here. Um, mode of seven. He's on hold. He needs to come off. We're gonna have to deport everybody. Oh, okay. first class. And In then, first class. Okay. Can we raise them right? No, 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 no. The entire. Uh, it's two thousand. I, I believe it's a whole. It's a whole thing. Huh? You got to deport the whole thing. Two thousand dollars No. Um. Ready? Yeah. Shall I take, I'm going to talk to yet. Him. Well, let's see. I think he's still talking to Because we can't do anything until a supervisor doesn't get it. He's refusing to come off? Mm. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to call 
The flight attendants go back to Odell and ask him to put his seatbelt on or get off the plane. He refuses to do both and therefore the entire plane is forced to deboard. Meanwhile, the officers gush over the fact that he's on the plane. He's Odell Beckham. You follow football? Oh my god! That's Odell. Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. Is that someone wants him off? They, the captain wants him off. They were taxiing out. Yeah, okay. So, they want so, Odell back. What is he? What is he? I mean, what has he done to, to make him want to? Can I get a signature? They, they're afraid they're going to have him make like emergency. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And after. My God, I left my phone. The officers then break the news to Odell that if he refuses to leave, he'll force everyone to evacuate the plane, and they do it in probably the most gentle way imaginable. How you doing, man? Can I speak three, to you for a second? Three, yeah. Yeah. Listen. Three nine three eight three zero. How you doing, boy? This Rene Garcia, Sergeant with Miami Dade Police Department. Nice to meet you. Listen, unfortunately, it's not our decision. Just listen. Apparently, you, you were driving drunk. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 Yeah, the officer starts off by calmly waiting to speak to him until he's off of the phone, then he introduces himself before blaming the decision to ask him to leave onto the captain. And as they discuss the issue further, the officer says to Odell that he wants to avoid any embarrassment and even thanks him at the end of their encounter. You don't have to talk to him. Everything wrong with the world. Looking at me to get off a of plane for you. I would never. Ever in my life, okay. get off the plane for you, specifically you. Maybe everybody else. Sure. I would get off the plane. This shit don't mean nothing to me. Ain't no way you could look at me. Ever, ever. Guys, just don't don't do anything for them. Just don't even get the plane. Quick, go again. You gonna wait forty yeah. minutes, and I'm gonna be on a private yeah. plane home. Good. Yeah. yeah. So fat ass. Enjoy it, sir. Yeah, I will. Sorry. Get your ass off the plane for a second. Yeah, I bet. Enjoy the cheese board on the way home. So our glass. Shit don't mean nothing to me, bro. Got like fucked up. I'm sorry. All you had to do was wake me up. At this point, the other passengers are starting to lose their cool, which makes sense because Odell can't seem to follow the most basic instructions and is therefore forcing everyone to get off the plane. Meanwhile, the officers are standing by and letting him insult the other passengers. He even says to someone, you're going to wait 40 minutes and I'm going to be on a private plane home. Most people wouldn't get away with that kind of entitlement, but I guess if you play for the NFL, officers will let that behavior slide. The paramedic then comes on board to make sure Odell is healthy enough to fly. Um, just, uh, what we're gonna do is just check your blood pressure, we're gonna do uh, check your oxygen conscious and your blood sugar, okay? Having a bad day. The paramedic actually apologized to Odell, saying, I'm sorry you're having a bad day. Somehow the paramedic has forgotten about the dozens of passengers that have just had to deplane because this guy won't get up and leave. OBJ was then escorted to baggage claim by police, and there they made sure to reassure him that his baggage would be sent to LAX for him to pick up. Hey, so I just spoke to the lady. She said, listen, those, on a flight that big, those, those bags are in the container, so they, they get sent to LA. So when you get to LA, you can pick up, you can pick them up there, or have somebody pick them up. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, if you're gonna have somebody pick you up, just tell them that you're by door uh, by door three uh, arrivals, and they can pick you up here. Okay. Hi, right, my man. I'm out of here. You have a good one. Okay. The cops obviously gave Odell special treatment here, but what happens when officers have come across an entitled celebrity who begins to make threats?
I will get back to my truck right now if you let me out of these handcuffs. If you don't, it's going to be a mistake, sir. I promise. On September 7th, 2023, country music singer Zach Bryan found himself involved with law enforcement after his private security was pulled over for allegedly speeding. When the officer asked the driver to park the vehicle in the parking lot, Brian decided to park his pickup truck right next to the car and take it upon himself to try to get the officers to back down. Hi, what you doing? I'm wondering why it's taking so long. Well, I'm, it's not any of your business. It, you need to get back in your truck because you're interfering with officer and discharge of duties right now. You need to get back in your truck or go to jail. I don't care which. I'll go to jail. I'm done. All right. Brian exits his vehicle and asks the officer why it's taking so long. The officer explains to him that he needs to get back into his vehicle. But Brian refuses and when given the choice, decides to go to jail instead. The officer goes back to the SUV to try to make sense of things. What is the, uh, what, what's the issue with him interfering with uh, uh, my traffic stop? I apologize, I'm not too sure, but uh, I'm in security. Okay. I'm traveling with him, you know, we, we just had a conversation, I wasn't sure how exactly was going, I apologize, but I would have been, but I'm okay. Well, he had no business stopping on this. I mean, I was okay with him sitting in the truck, but when he gets out, I don't know who he is. I apologize, sir. Okay. All right. After getting more info from the driver, the officer steps back into the police cruiser. And that's when Zach tries to play victim, even though the officer gave him a choice to step back in his truck. Sir, these are insanely uncomfortable. I understand that, sir. We'll, 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 we'll change them in a minute. You maybe put them on in a hurry. They really ain't built for comfort to begin with. Sir, I didn't do anything wrong. Well, yeah, you did. I asked you to leave and get back in your truck, and you said you weren't going to do it. Uh, this is the been, second time this has happened to me in three days, actually. Well, because cops have just been like way too brutal on me. Because, hey, man, I, I had a copy an option. I said, I, I, hey, I, I know, can, but, can I finish up the original stop? Mm, Let me finish up this one. Yes, sir. Can you please take these handcuffs off me, sir? I will. If you let me finish up this traffic stop. I don't. There's no need for me to be handcuffs, actually. Yeah, you're on, right now. Uh, there is because you're interfering with my traffic stop, sir. And you wouldn't let me finish. I will. I will have. This is why people do not like police officers. I understand. I, you know. I'm, no, I understand too, sir. I, I gave you an option. No, yes, sir. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. I'm a fucking 27 year old kid, and I said, "Take me to jail." Then I was being a smartass. I apologized immediately after. I know, and we will let me finish up this. I would, go, I would get stop. back in my truck right now if you let me out of these handcuffs. Well, if you if you don't, me... it's gonna be a mistake, sir. I promise. You know, I know, I know every high pole. I know every sheriff in Tulsa. Okay, that's fine. I, I let I let 40 of them go to my BOK show. <sighs> you know, I know you don't give a, f but like this is just insane. I didn't say that. Second time this happened in three days. These f cops are out of hand. Truly. Brian continues to argue with the cops stating, this is why people don't like police officers and even threatens the cops by saying that if he isn't let out of the handcuffs, it's going to be a mistake, and that he knows every sheriff in Tulsa. But the threats don't intimidate the officer at all. He finishes up his paperwork and carts Brian off to jail. Brian was arrested for obstruction of a law enforcement officer and was booked in the Craig County Jail, but was eventually released on a $1,000 bond.